to Poison Dot Frog Hobbyist. This is Bradley. I'm here with another video for you guys. Just want to wish everybody happy holidays. That's my female Luke. I have a one, I have a 2.1. If you guys don't know what that means, that means two males and one female. And if you ever hear something like a 1.2.7, that means one male, two females, and seven unsex froglets. She's looking like, what's going on here? Let's go a little deep. Uh, that glare is killing me right now. This tank is really overplanted. The frogs really like that. There's no... Uh, trimming back in the wild so it is what it is they feel more comfortable when they have places to hide more security is always better but for the most part this plant right here I would recommend using it in any vivarium as well as this wandering Jew because this is a big mess here so this video it's going to be about like uh, breeding with the terrestrial frogs, the bigger frogs. They like to lay on soft surfaces, such as this petri dish. I'm going to see if I can really see some eggs. There's some eggs. There's an egg like right there. Let me zoom in some. It's kind of like dried out. But there was some eggs there. They will lay if they're calling and laying frogs. The female will lay the eggs right there, but there's in a body of water that the males can deposit the tadpoles, so they just dry up and don't make it. But you can put this peachy dish under the cocoa hut and you'll get activity. I'm going to go in here, and this is another thing that sucks about the regular fish tanks it's opening up the glass top and that piece of glass up there is very thick they're like three drain holes I mean vents so this cocoa hut is basically overgrown like I stopped the production and this leak this uh this plant here is growing it's kind of rooted onto the cocoa hut. Oh. And there's another loop there. So, I want to get these guys breeding, breeding again. I pretty much stopped production. So, I'm going to just take the Petri dish. Put it back under the hut. And few days these guys uh, the female might lay the males will fertilize and just wait till the the eggs are brown you don't want to pull them out while they're white because they might not be fertilized so if you notice that you have eggs and they're white just give it about 42 hours and you can also do a decent amount of misting to get them Going. I need to get a Miss King because this thing is uh, all over the place. My garden mister has broken. I broke two of those a few months ago. I think I'm too strong. Uh, so there might be there might be some uh I might have some tadpoles for you guys in a few days or whatever. And I'll definitely you know record those. So just take take into note that this video is made uh, December 20th, 2014. So we'll just see how long it takes these guys to lay eggs. Because they, they won't lay on like rough surfaces or fuzzy plants. They'll, they'll lay on nice smooth plants, plants with smooth leaves. 
So if you guys are wondering why you haven't gotten any breathing, just put a Petri dish under a cocoa hut and wait for some results. So until next time, like, don't dislike, subscribe, comment, share, and enjoy your frogs. Happy holidays if I don't make another video.